Hello, in this video, we are going to compare between 2 to the power of 234 against 5 to the power of 100. Which of these is the bigger number or which of them is the smaller number? Now, let's copy out each of these numbers. So let's start with 5 power 100. This is 5 to the power of 100. And this is the same thing as writing. 5 to the power of 100, we can express it as summation of 99 plus 1. Now, if you have a power n plus m, this equals a power n times a power m. So from here, we have this equals 5 to the power of 99 times 5 to the power of 1. Now, from here, you can have this as 5 to the power of 99 is simply 3 times 33, and we have times 5, because 5 to the power of 1 is 5. Now, consider this identity again, a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. We apply this identity here. We have this equals 5 to the power of 3. And this is to the power of 33 times 5. So, from here, we, need can, we can find out what is 5 power 3. 5 power 3 is 5 times 5 times 5, 5 times 5, 25 times 5, 1, 2, 5. So this is 125 to the power of 33. Then we have times 5. So let's leave this one this way. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to consider this other number now, which is 2 to the power of 234. Let me write it down here. 2 to the power of 234. So this is just like having it as 2 to the power of 234 is simply 3 times 78. Now I can also express this as 2 to the power of 3 times 78 is simply 77 plus 1. So from here we have this equals 2 to the power of we have 3 times 77 plus 3. If you actually distribute this 3 to each of the terms here inside the bracket. Now what are we going to do? We can apply the same identity. You have a power n plus m equals a power n times a power m. Meaning that we are simply going to have this equals 2 to the power 3 times 77 times 2 power 3. So from here, we can simply have this as 2 to the power of 3 times 77 is simply 11 times 7, then we have times 2 to the power of 3. So from here, what we can do is I can easily multiply this out. 3 times 11. So this will simply give us 2 to the power of 3 times 11. That is 33 times 7 times 2 to the power of 3. Now remember this identity. You have a power n times n. This equals a to the power of n. 
to the power of m and also this equals a to the power of m to the power of n. So if this is my n, this is my m, I can transform it to this form. The m is now inside the bracket while the n is outside the bracket. So this will simply give me 2 power 7 raised to the power of 33 times 2 to the power of 3. From here, I can find out the value of 2 power 7, which is 2 into 7 places. So 2 power 7 raised to the power of 33 times 2 power 3 equals 2 power 7 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is 2 to the power of 7. This is raised to the power of 33. Then we have times 2 to the power of 3. And from here, we can simply have this as this is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 times 2, 64 times 2. This is 127 to the power of 33 times from here we can have the power 8, which is the power 3, which is 8. So we have 1 to 7 power 33 times 8. We have it this way. So we also have this one, this suite. So we can compare. So let's compare. Now we have two to the power of, this is two to the power of 234. And this equals this, one to seven power 33 times 8, and also Fisos 5 to the power of 100, and this equals, look at this one here, 1 to 5 power 33 times 5, 1 to 5 power 33 times 5. Now we can compare now because the exponent and the same. Here we have 127, which is greater than 125. Have you seen that? And also we have 8, which is greater than 5. Since the exponents are the same, but 127 is greater than 125, and 8 is also greater than 5, we can say that this 2 power 234 is greater than 5 power 100. So meaning the bigger number here is 2 power 234. So you come over here and say that 2 to the power of 234 is greater than 5 power 100. And we have been able to achieve this without the use of calculator. So the bigger number is this, while the smaller number is this. I believe you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and see you again.